This week, I'm going to teach you a magic phrase that allows you to disagree with people, but still keep the conversation open. And what that means is, for those of us in the security and investigations world, you can influence them to move to your way of thinking. Now, that can be intellectually, open them up, make them realize a decision that that continues a witness statement or gets them to start talking to you, or let's face it, sometimes it's physical in our world, especially my brothers and sisters in security. We may have to move somebody out of a building or off the property. So being able to hear what they say, to have a response to that that doesn't immediately shut them down and put them in an adversarial relationship. In fact, they will hear you agreeing with them. That moves the conversation forward and allows you to move things in your direction. Hi, this is Larry Kay with ShadowAnyone.com. I'm the creator of the Investigator's Ultimate Guide series, which is premium private investigator training from someone who's been there and done that. This comes right out of my life, my world. Uh, you know my story. Uh, I started at zero uh, and, and moved to state licensed private investigator. I got out of the military. My first job was part-time security guard. I put on that polyester shirt and cheap 10 badge, went around and tugged on doorknobs and looking for one that was unlocked. And I moved from there to, again, state licensed private investigator. That's how you pay the mortgage, the cars, the groceries, the whole nine yards. I did it. You can do it too. And I share with you here uh, some of the things that helped me do that. And today I have a magic phrase that I've come upon and I've used many, many times. Uh, and it's not one of the ones I've recently uh, released my latest book, 51 Magic Phrases to Get What You Want. These are the secrets of instant influence for private investigators, process servers, security guards, and you. Uh, and specifically, there's there are books out there that teach phrases to use for like doing employee evaluations or furthering your agenda in a meeting, that type of thing. But this is the first and only book for our profession, security and investigations. So here's what will happen. Somebody will say something to you. You can't agree with them one reason or another. And here in the 21st century, how many times is it that somebody holds up a cell phone and they're trying to trick you into saying something and record something, that type of thing? Here's the phrase you can use. There may be something to that, but right? So if they say to you, I don't think I should have to show ID to get into this building. You can say, I understand there may be something to that, but public safety dictates that we do get ID of everybody that's entering the building. See how you can do that? There may be something to that. So you're agreeing that there's an element of truth. There's, there's something about what they're saying. You're not even saying what or how much. Now, if you want to avoid saying that trigger word but in there where you go uh, there may be something to that but and see when people hear that that word but they have a tendency to discount a lot of what you said before that so you can even try it this way while there may be something to that we have to get id from everybody in order to let them into the building because it's a public safety issue you see you don't have to say you don't have to discount what you just said while there may be something to that and then you fill in the rest of it Another variation on that is a little more personal. It kind of helps you build a little more rapport with the person. And this is now you talk, let's move into private investigators, uh, process servers trying to influence somebody to give them an address of a skip, a private investigator who's trying to get a witness to open up and talk to them. And they give you their reason, their problem, their whatever it is. You can say, I think there's something to that. Or I think there, there's a lot to that and then move on from there. So now you're really empathizing with them and you're putting yourself in their shoes in a sense or that's what they hear. They hear you say, I think there's a lot to that, but let me ask you about this. Or I think there's a lot to that, but you know, the other side is telling me blah, 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 whatever it might be. Now this phrase is not in my book, 51 Magic Phrases to Get What You Want. So if you've got the book, here's a bonus for you. If you haven't yet got the book, Check it out. It's uh, for sale right now, and it's just loaded with things that I have learned and developed, things that I've come up with myself over the years of doing it, 25 plus years in this industry now, and man, it just moves people forward to your way of thinking. If you have a magic phrase that you use to influence people or to get your way in, in within our profession, 
please feel free to, free to share it with everybody. We can all learn from each other. In the meantime, this is Larry K with ShadowAnyone.com. Remember, do the right thing, even if it's the hard thing.